Oh, hi guys, me again, Mr. Goldgiver here, doing my second car mechanic video today. Um, my last video on this today was kind of a mistake. It was actually on my end. Um, what it was, was Action, which is the recording software that I use. I didn't tick the uh, graphics accelerator, or video accelerator, whatever it's called. And what that basically does is, probably most of you guys know, but just for the ones that don't, is it... Uh, if you don't have it enabled, it will slow the game down while you're recording. But if you have it enabled, it's like this. It's completely smooth. So it was my fuck up. So basically, just ignore that last video. I'll probably remove it anyway. Um, yeah, so let's get on to what I was actually going to do in that video. But ended up being into a, basically, rage video. <laughs> which was completely my fault. So yeah, let's get going. What I'm basically here today is to... I'm going to um, basically whip this whole, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, what was it called? RX, Master RX-7 completely down to the shell, and then I'm going to do a part 2 video on building it. So let's get going, because we want to get rid of all the bodywork, of course. Look how rusty this thing is. Oh my god. I've got other cars here which are even as bad as that is. Like, I've got this one which I think is a Challenger. And uh, this one here which I think is a, uh, bolt, a Bolt one. And I've got two more cars up here that are, that I'm currently um, working on. This one here I cleaned up some of the, the bodywork. I haven't finished it yet. See I've got a green door. <laughs> I just have to repaint that one. Yeah, so let's we'll just get back to this one that we're working on. And so I just gotta remove all this body work. Oh, that, that, that part doesn't seem too damaged. Let's have a look. Oh, it is damaged. This doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, what so else we got? We got no back window. Okay, tail light out. Okay, we got no, no bumper, no number plate. Okay, so we've stripped all that down. Now let's put up on the lift. Okay, let's get rid of these tires. Xbox One, I was thinking of getting it on that too. Because I am kind of, it does lag a little bit on the PC, so, especially when you're doing this in the engine part though, it, it lags a little bit. Never mind, actually, I'll see, show you guys. See that lag? Well, some of you guys might not notice it, but I do. A little bit of a frame drop, so on console, at least you won't get that. Uh, yeah, so we got all the wheels off now. Let's let's get strip this engine down. Now this is, engine is a lot different than most engines. This is having a massive engine block or engine head. It's actually in parts. So you got the gearbox there, then you got these here, which is a, the uh, rotor. <laughs> a weird engine. When I first pulled this thing apart, it, it was so freaky. Totally different than I'm used to. Yeah, it's missing a lot of parts. Okay, that's it for that. Now I just want to... Yep, I'm the car. Get this gearbox off. I'd like to get the engine and the gearbox out before I work on the... the, the uh, brakes. And the suspension. Missing the starter too. It's supposed to go right here. It's missing. One thing I should, I reckon I should add to this game is missing screws. 
Not just missing parts, but also missing screws. That, that would make it more realistic. Okay, now I'm done that. That's also another annoying thing about taking these engines apart, is you have to put the lift up and down like five times. Okay, so... Just to get to these. Okay, so I'm going to get put back up again. And back down again. <laughs> like a damn yo-yo. Again. And we'll work on the uh, suspension and brakes. Okay. Brake pads. Brake clippers, sorry, brake pad. And bearing. Very quick because I pretty much know how to take things off. So this is a glitch here that they should fix. There's no way I should be able to take that part off without taking this off first. Because you can see how that weird that looks. I still can't believe they haven't fixed that. Let's see, that's, a, that's a weird. Okay, Look at these bearings. frames to go down. But the game is a lot better than it used to be when it first came out, that's for sure. I have fixed most of the problems. Okay, that's all the, uh, I've got one more, the sway bar. Okay, and now the suspension, I mean the exhaust pipes. And now we'll work on the back end. No fuel pump. That's missing.
another reason why I want to get on console. Because I'm sick of had to use the uh, right thumbstick to move the the uh, dot thing around. Because a lot of the time I miss the mark for the screws. If this was if I was doing this on console, it'd be a lot. I'd be a lot quicker than I am. Because you'd probably use, like to use a D-pad or something to go straight to a screw. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see the control configuration for that when it comes out of the That's everything uh, pulled apart. Out of the car. Now let's um, uh, restore the bodywork and the interior, and that'll be it for part one of this video. And I will continue uh, part two where I will put on all the parts. So let's move the equipment. That's for the welding, the bodywork. This one is for the interior. Okay. First, we'll do the interior. It used to be a thousand dollars, but now it's a hundred, so that's good. Yeah. But the welding is still a thousand. Yeah, there we go. And look at that now, nice and shiny. Completely new. I'll quickly check something. Oh, yeah, I got a good mileage on this, so it's gonna, it's gonna. I'm gonna sell it for a pretty good, nice price when I'm finished. Currently, the value is twelve hundred um, and uh, twelve thousand two hundred sixty dollars. Frame condition and interior condition one hundred percent, and then global parts and body and uh, global body condition I'm working on in the second uh, part of this video. So, yeah, if you like the video, guys, please leave a like, share, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. So, peace out, guys. See you next time.